In idea statica, each member is defined as either continuous or ended. In each connection, a bearing member must be selected. It is indicated by the red rectangle. Selection of geometrical type together with load in equilibrium option affects support condition of the bearing member. When loads in equilibrium is turned off, the bearing member with geometrical type ended will only be supported on one end. However, bearing member with geometrical type continuous will be supported on both ends. No loads can be applied to bearing member. When loads in equilibrium is turned on, the bearing member will be supported only on one end regardless of the geometrical type. Loads are applied to all members and equilibrium must be found. When loads in equilibrium is turned on, unbalanced forces are shown on the bottom. This helps to make sure that the connection is in equilibrium. When loads in equilibrium is turned off, the unbalanced forces are not shown. It is recommended to turn on loads in equilibrium option and to make sure that the connection is in equilibrium. Because disrupting the equilibrium condition may lead to false and unsafe results. This example shows how loads in equilibrium feature affects the results. Although the same loads are applied, different support conditions cause discrepancy in the results. Turning on loads in equilibrium allows you to analyze your connection holistically, including the stresses inside the bearing member.